July 6th today. I've got neighborhood children in the background enjoying their day. I've also got some few pruning tasks to do that I'm just gonna do in a kind of quick you know group video. I'll do all my my maples that need pruning today. Just go through them all real quick right now. This is my sugar maple. It doesn't need pruning. I'm just gonna let it get stronger for another year. My Norway maple forest back here is putting out a second flush of growth. So I'm just gonna prune that back a little bit, maybe. Definitely prune off all the dead and you know, redundant branches. Big Norway maple here. I can probably prune off some of the lower stuff and choose a couple of these branches. Um, this maple I think is silver maple um, you know a bunch of these don't even have numbers yet but maybe I was supposed to number this one yeah I think I, I think I did anyways shorten that one some of these other ones need some work I won't go through them all right now but this other I, w I thought that was a silver maple, but I don't know, it might be something different. My silver surfer. <laughs> Classic always naming trees before, you know, confirming what they actually are. <laughs> or if they're going to live. Anyways. Yep, yeah, today's just a quick pruning of my maples day. I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I'll get started with my... Norway maple forest first. So I think first thing I'll just set the height of the tallest trees. This one doesn't have any sub branching at all. So I'm just gonna leave it, let it grow, be the dominant front tree, and then hopefully some of these buds will open up next year. This one has a bunch of side branching right here, so I'll take it way back to there. There's nothing else. Nothing else coming off of it. Actually, I think I'll get rid of this little one that's growing in towards the center of the forest. Just have it split into two there. Everything else is fine. This one down here, I think it's all dead. But I'll just cut it back to here for now. This one. There's a branch growing at a very weird angle from the back of it here, so I'll take that one off. I've got two coming out here, very long internodes, so I'll just take them both off. And I've got two branches there. The one in the middle. <laughs> the one in the middle is dead, so take that off. This one I can take back a little bit. Really long internode there, so that's where that's going. Small dead branches at the bottom. This one, that one's definitely dead. I'm just gonna just cut it. Cut it at the surface. Dead top and a dead little side branch. This is a pretty interesting little tree here. There's a little 
One on the back I can take off. And then these two are both, both grown well. I'll just take the tips off of them so they don't keep extending. With the long internodes they have there. It's good for that one. This little one I'll leave alone, but the top one here, reduce in vigor. These long leaves are the new leaves, so that'll, you know, they'll harden off and take in a bunch of energy. The rest of it will be diverted back down the tree. This is kind of a smaller tree, so I'll leave the, the top alone, just let it grow. Same with this one, it's just got two branches coming out now, that's fine. It's got these barbell type branches, for now I'll keep the one that comes to the outside, reduce the vigor of the top one, alright, <laughs> sorry for all this neighborhood noise, it's a little much today, isn't it? This one has a branch kind of growing up in the center. Probably should get rid of it, but I think I'll leave it for now. Get rid of it in the next pruning. Just let it have a bit of vigor still. and it's okay there. Same with that one. Okay, I think that might be all the pruning this needs for this one anyways. Like there's a bunch of ants coming out the bottom. Must be an ant nest in there somewhere. Okay, well I didn't do too much pruning of the actual live wood. I just wanted to kind of shape this forest a little bit. And I think it's looking okay. You know, it is what it is. It's a Norway maple forest, so it won't be anything crazy awesome, but why not, eh? Took off a decent amount, anyways. Alright, on to the next tree. Alright, this one is my larger Norway maple. I've got a big sacrificial leader growing up there, I'm trying to thicken up the overall tree, and then I'll cut that off. So, what I want to do right now is kind of prune it back to the basic structure. Just do it holding the camera like this because it's too tall for the normal setup. So a little sucker growing down there. Take that off. Gonna get rid of this one. And I 
I don't like this one. It's kind of on the inside of a curve there. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one. It kind of comes out of the trunk at a weird angle, but the trunk get back in focus. Okay, the trunk kind of goes up and to the right. And then this branch kind of curls up to the left. So, I don't know. It might look good in the future. And then I'll get rid of this one. For now, I'll keep this one. And I'm going to get rid of... And I'm hoping something will grow out of some of these buds that can eventually be the new leader. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this little one, that little one. They're growing off at weird angles anyways. Um, I can probably keep one of these. I think I'll keep this one. You know, it could kind of be an interesting choice as the leader eventually. This one in the back, not so much, so it's gone. And I'm not going to touch the top at all. I'll just leave it. Yeah. Back to the basics. I, don't know, I think that's looking okay. We'll see what it turns into. Again, just a just a Norway maple, but it's got potential, I think. All right. Well, it's July 10th today. I think it's been about a week since I pruned up those other maples, uh, the Norway maples. So I'll continue with this one. Really, I would like it to continue growing and thicken up this cool trunk more but it's in a really small pot and it's drying out way too fast right now so I need to get rid of some leaf mass. I think what I'm gonna do so there's a, a tiny little uh, branch growing out at that junction there I can just pull that out Eventually, oops, I shouldn't have done that. Eventually, I would like this one to be the leader. And you know, it'd be nice if one of those side branches can grow out, you know, in that direction or that direction to keep this tree, you know, having some, some cool movement. There's also a tiny little one over here I can pull out. After I made this cut in the spring, or late winter, you know, it shot out these two new big ones and two really tiny ones, so that's pretty good. I really love this tree. Um, I don't know if you can see it right now, but yeah, the the bark is splitting here. My focus bark is splitting here, and you can see the green coming out, you know, poking out underneath the base of the trunk, you know, like the nabari is kind of becoming more interesting. Bunch of fine roots coming out of that everywhere, coming out the bottom too. So, alright. I'm going to quit babbling on here and I'll just make these cuts. So like I said, I'm just doing this to reduce leaf mass and get a little bit more sub-branching. I think eventually, you know, I'm going to cut this off. I can just grow it as kind of a sacrifice branch for now because I want this one to have the movement. I'll cut it here. Back to the first buds. A couple leaves and yeah. Instead of growing this as a sacrifice branch, I think I'll just cut it back to here for now. It will, it will be a sacrifice branch because I'll cut it way back eventually, but 
you know, I'll just leave these larger leaves to collect some more sun. Um, hopefully I'll get a bunch of branching over here and then I can cut this back probably next year in the late winter maybe. I'll plant these cuttings and see what happens, but I'm not too worried if they don't grow. I've got a bunch of red and silver maples and different things. to the next one. July 13th today and I'm gonna keep going on my summer maple pruning. It's been a little while since I did any. I'm getting way behind on everything. But this here Norway maple, it's just second flushed like crazy. Pretty much from right there all the way to the top you know, at least 20 centimeters 25 centimeters of new growth in the last week week and a half maybe so that's gonna get too top heavy for this pot real soon so so this tree has some fairly decent movement can't see it at this angle See it here? Yeah, maybe. Some cool kind of twisty S-shaped movement in the trunk. And then once we get to pretty much here, it just grows up straight. That's all of this year's growth. It started here this year and has more than doubled in size. So I think to maximize any shape I might be able to get, I'm just going to cut it back right here, which is, you know, the first really long internode. There's three tight ones down here, then a big long one, so I'll just cut back here. There we go. I'm not going to bother planting any cuttings. I have enough Norway maples kicking around. So yeah, I'm kind of liking that now, looks pretty cool. It was getting real dry every day, so that'll minimize, you know, any excess drying out, minimize its water needs, and it won't be top heavy and flopping over in the wind anymore. Maybe I'll even get a little bit of back budding. There's a little bud right here, it would be interesting if that one grew out. All right, on to the next one. I've been doing a lot of thinking about this tree. Pretty sure this one's a silver maple. It also has some, you know, fairly, fairly cool movement in the base of the trunk there. Let's see if I can focus on that. The base of the trunk here, sorry, is widening out quite a bit, thickening up. Looks like you know, some roots are growing radially, which is good. But, we've got a little too much branch growth all coming out of the same spot here. Should have showed that up close too. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of little branches coming out and the big ones as well. I think I think I wanna keep this one as the leader, so I'm just gonna let that grow really strong. I'll get rid of all these small ones. And I think, yeah, because it come, they come out at the exact same spot, I'll just get rid of, rid of all these branches. I don't need this one either. I think that's what I want to do. I think that gives the tree the best chance for some future interesting shape. Yeah, 
I don't like how this one's kind of leaning off in this direction, which is the same way the trunk is going. I want something that kind of brings it back over in this direction. So, yeah, time to take the plunge and just chop this big branch off. I don't really need any more maples, silver maples or whatever this is, so I won't plant that cutting either. Get rid of this small one, small one here, here, and that's going to do it for pruning today on this one. See what happens in the future. Alright, this one's a Norway maple. And I'm gonna do kind of the same operation as I did on the other one. I think what I want is for this one to be the eventual leader. You know, all of these have very long internodes before any, you know, sub-branching could happen. But this one at least has two really close ones right here, so it could go off in a couple different directions. So I'm gonna keep this one, and I'll keep the big one as a sacrifice leader. It would make a fairly good leader, except, you know, this internode here is huge. There's something down here which could grow out in the future after I cut this off, you know, once it's done its job. But for now, yeah, I'll just leave those two and cut these other two off. There is a tiny little bud here too, so I'll leave that as well and see if anything develops. That small one, I just went right to the trunk. And I'll clean up the, the pruning stub from the spring. A little bit, anyways. Okay, so you can see there's a bunch of new growth here. This is the second flush coming out, so I figured this was the best time to do this pruning. So that'll keep growing strong and really thicken up this trunk. And then once that's done, I can cut it back to this. And this one will have some nice taper going that way and hopefully I can start the branching somewhere up here. And I think that'll be kind of an interesting looking little tree maybe. Anyways, on to the next one. This is another Norway maple with a an interesting trunk shape nice kind of twisty s pattern this was a natural shape all of my trees are really i collected this from my backyard this spring with that other twisty norway maple i pruned in this video yeah i just picked them because they had some really cool trunk movement and i wanted to see how I could develop them in pots, even though I had tons of Norway maples already. Anyway, so I'll do something similar here. You know, I'll just chop it where it gets its first really long straight internode. Right here, there's one, two, three nodes. So that could develop, you know, any direction in the future. So that's the chop for now. Leave the rest to grow. And hopefully I'll get something kind of developing in this direction and I can continue this kind of corkscrew effect. I think that would be pretty cool. And next. This here is the one I call Silver Surfer. Because I'm, at least I was pretty sure that it's a silver maple. <laughs> Not so sure anymore, actually. 
I think you know it's a little too pointy sharp to be silver it's probably a red maple anyways I'll keep the name for now because you know it looks like kind of a surfboard somebody you know this is the knees right here arms on a surfboard anyways kind of silly but I'll keep it going for now today I'm just going to prune off all these tiny little suckers lower down I don't need to prune those I can just pull them off I don't want anything growing along the trunk of this I'd like to highlight it as the main feature of this tree we've got two little branches that grow out kind of horizontally kind of barbell like so I'll get rid of those that's really cleaned up the trunk line already looking much better I think you know I want this to thicken up more and I'm not sure which one I eventually want to be the leader at this point. I don't know, maybe I will keep up both of them and kind of grow them outwards as arms, something. Play along with that silly name, the Silver Surfer. I don't know. But anyways, I'll keep it like this for now. Let them gr both grow out like this, even if they're just kind of sacrifice branches. I'll let everything thicken up real nice. I'll show a close-up in a second here because I really like how the trunk is forming on this tree or rather the bark you can see the brown bark from last year is splitting open and the green you know sap hardwood kind of pushing out this year really thickening things up nicely you can see the bulge down here this is how thick the whole thing was when I first collected it this part you know was dead it was just kind of a twig that had rooted in the sandy ground up north and yeah it's grown quite a bit since then I really like this tree silver maple or not I'm still gonna call it the surfer whether it's gonna be the red or silver surfer I don't know but for now I think it looks pretty cool Radical, dude. Well, that's it for all my maples. Everything is pruned and pampered. This, well, almost this whole table is maples. This one's my little flowering quince. That's grown really well since I collected it a couple months ago. So yeah, these are all my maples. A bunch of these I didn't do any pruning on. And this one I pruned up in the first part of the video last week or something and you can see tiny little buds in there that are starting to starting to you know swell up already and back here is that Norway maple forest that I pruned up a little bit and it's still still growing a second flush so yeah those are all my maples except for my sugar maple up here but i'm not going to do any pruning on that this year i can wait till next year next spring but it gained some vigor grow strong this year because i did do some root pruning on it this year so it's not as strong as it could be anyways that's it for the maples until probably the fall or spring We'll just let them grow on as much as possible. Anyways, that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.